This is our first look at Casio's new smartwatch. This is the WSD F10. It'll be available in April for $500. And this is an Android Wear watch, but it's got a lot more. It's got Casio's special sauce in here. Um, for example, it's three uh, different uh, sensors in it. It's got an altimeter, a barometer, and a compass. So you can go through the different modes like, and see the different things. Like there's the compass, for example. By pressing the button that says tool, you can switch between the different modes. So there's uh, some meters, but obviously you can probably change it to feet as well. Um, there's, a, and there's the weather as well, so you can see all different things. And of course, if you're connected to your smartwatch, you can get notifications as well. Um, now, it should last about a day on the charge, um, and it's got a small port on the side here, um, used for recharging, and it comes with a little tiny uh, dongle to, to plug it in. Um, now, other things it has, too, um, water resistance to 165 feet, so you don't have to worry about if you go swimming or you know, fishing, I guess, in a shallow lake. Um, and it has many of the other things you'll find with other Android Wear watches, such as multiple watch faces. Okay, Google, if you're paired with an Android watch, and they're exactly just popped up on the because I said it, and you'll be able to pair it with apps, uh, you know, such as RunKeeper or whatever you want. So it's undoubtedly a very large uh, watch. Um, as you can see on, this, on one person's wrist, it, it kind of dwarfs it. <laughs> Um, so that's definitely going to be a consideration for some people. Uh, but compared to other outdoor watches, um, you know, so, like such as the uh, Garmin Phoenix, it's roughly the same size. So it's definitely an interesting uh, entry into the smartwatch market by Casio. And we're looking forward to putting it through its paces. Until then, it's Mike Prospero at CES 2016 for Tom's Guide.